Hey guys, today we will talk about Modern Masters 2017 and should you buy it and what price should you buy it? So the currently the price going with shipping is around 220 low and let's see 220 to 240 uh, 240 being your in-game store is going to try to charge you more at least my locals is charging 240 so is it worth that price when we actually don't know any cards in it? The answer is no. There is a general decline in modern, and I hate to say it, but modern has not been doing well lately. Uh, the news that has been going out about uh, two two uh, important pieces of news: a modern will be less promoted. There will be less events for modern. And B, Wizard of Coast doesn't, or Mero in general, does not care about modern as he compared, compared it to Commander. The last time I checked, Commander didn't have any tournaments. So that is the future of modern. Uh, he directly, a representative of Wizard of Coast who is in the inside of it, said that modern should go the way of Commander in terms of tournaments, in terms of organization. That is not reassuring to me. Uh, if it goes the way of Commander, it won't have any events. And I'm sure that would make Wizard of Coast more money as they continue to push standard. Overall, uh, I'm not high on any modern card right now. Uh, the I'm definitely not high on buying a box where you don't know what's in it. Um, at the end of the day, it's still a $200 box and you can get multiple boxes for this price. You can get multiple fat packs for this price. I actually just bought a fat pack of Origins and it was 145 for a, six fat packs of Origins. And you might be like, oh, well, that's different. You know, the Origins isn't a great set, etc., etc. But for long term value, Modern Masters isn't something that I, if they've. Eternal Masters was an epic disappointment for me personally. I was very hyped, they hyped it up. And then they just tank the price. So Eternal Masters box, you can get one for 170, 180, 190 right now. When they first came out, stores were trying to sell them, or I don't know if how many actually did for 300 or more. Here we see it being tempered down a little bit. No one's trying to sell these for 300 dollars, but they are still quite expensive. Uh, one of my biggest pet peeves about modern masters in general is how they increased the supposed MSRP of these packs from $6.99 to $9.99 without adding anything. They just want you to give them $3 more a pack when you compare it to original modern masters. Modern is not a growing format. It's not a dying format yet, but it's not growing either. And to be quite frank with you, I'm not even if they put a ton of really good cards in Modern Master 2017, if the entire format kind of tanks, then the prices of those cards will stabilize very quickly, and therefore the box won't be that much uh, that worth it. Unless Modern Masters 2017 follows the Modern Master, you can buy Modern Masters 2015 all day, all day for it under MSRP today. But Modern Masters, the original one, that was kind of special, very low printed, very low supply, and the cards were actually good at the uncommon slot. So I, when I look at this product and I think about where else you can put money in, I would not put money in this product without knowing more about it. And I expect the product to go the way of Eternal Masters, where it eventually ends up as a sub sub $190 product. Wizard of the Coast recently, if their recent Eternal Masters reprint, quote unquote reprint, is an indication, they are going to print these boxes a ton. The only thing that really kind of limited the Modern Masters 2015 and especially original Modern Masters was the supply. They just, they knew that there was a lot of demand, but they didn't meet it with the supply. And that's why those boxes got out of control really fast. And they did the same tactic with Eternal Masters. They put a very little or half the supply, let's say, and then boxes shot up to $300. And a lot of people were like, this is a great investment opportunity. 
but then, oops, here's the other half. I It's just not stable to me. I could see something like Eternal Masters happening. I could see something even worse than that happening for the price of the box. But if you are a player, you should be able to draft it. I 100% feel like you should be able to draft this format, especially since that they are selling it as a draftable set, not as a modern set, which is very interesting when you read the language coming from top Wizard of the Coast people, they really want modern to die as a format. They want Ma modern Masters 2017 to be a fun draft set, which kind of defeats the purpose of it because it should just be reprints. It should just be reprints that are necessary. Anyway, I have you know I have mixed feelings about it, but I can tell you at 220 a box or 240 a box or 250, which is MSRP I believe, a box it, it is definitely not worth it. Uh, definitely not worth the price of a mission unless there's so many good things on it that it outweighs what I've seen now what I've, I'm seeing now is every box every set since RTR commanders um, the commander decks arsenal not commanders arsenal the planeswalker anthology these things come up with a, such a high MSRP price tag and then just fall flat eternal masters fall it fell flat like i don't, cannot imagine i cannot recall a recent set that has actually gone up substantially in price since rtr i am not talking about from the vault or any of that type although that they have not done as well as they have done in the past i'm talking about a recent box set conspiracy is kind of in the gutter i i, I just cannot no, there's no set in my memory. Battle for Zendikar, which re the, the, the expected value of a, a box of Battle for Zendikar is less than $20. I mean, yeah, Fate Reforged was horrific. You can redeem, apparently, a Fate Reforged something for $50 when Ugin's price is $40. So, like, what? On Magic Online? The, the prices of cards and sets and box oh, unopened boxes in particular i'm very skeptical anything they print today can go up in price uh, at all within the next five years uh, for an open box i mean anyway leave me a comment below bye guys